Hey guys, so today we're going to learn about clefs. We're going to start with our treble clef. So the treble clef is, you're probably going to be playing an instrument that plays a little bit in the higher range, but I'm going to show you guys. The treble clef, so we have, you've already learned about the four spaces and the five lines on the staff. So now I'm going to show you, this is how you draw your treble clef. So it's really funny, it's really kind of pretty. It's the prettier one out of the two clefs that we're going to learn. So you're going to take a little loop right down here at the bottom, you're going to go all the way up, loop at the top, and you're going to swing down, and then you're going to go right around here. Now this is the most important part. So right here, as I swung around, you see this little hook right here? So the treble clef can also be called the G clef because the little hook right here on the treble clef will always be on the line where G is on our treble clef. So this is G. And then if you look here again, the little hook right here when you draw your treble clef, and this will be in all the music as well that's printed, little hook is right on the line of the G. So now you'll always be able to find your G anytime that you're looking at your triple button. Super easy, and then you can use your musical alphabet to go up or down.